I'm Sir Tap Tap, and you ever seen an animal that just wasn't any good? Let's do something about that, shall we? Let's play Animal Inspector. Made with Unity Personal Edition. This is a free game on itch.io. You can give donations if you like. Seemed like a quick, funny one. Game by Tom Assel. With music as effects by Ben Esfito. Oh, Tora Horse. This game auto saves. Okay. Wasn't, wasn't expecting saves to begin with. Too many animals! Governments declares animal crisis. The last buck meets its hunter. Six tips hunting in a wi world without wild animals. Gun fancy. Florida de teen be builds robot moose. Let's hunters shoot it for cash. Secret murder agency? Big scoop. Please don't kill me. Photo leaks. Secret plans reveal. The president wants your pets. Ten ugly celeb pets. Should they die first? Yes. They came for my cat. Exclusive interview. Snoot and soul. Free poster. First impressions. At a charm. Astound. Win over. Even the most jaded agent. Million meow march. Exclusive event coverage and picks. Hairless hero. The cat that dodged inspection. So yeah, this is like a sillier, um, much sillier Papers, Please, I guess. My perfect boy. Now it's a dog, so it's not perfect. My truest friend. Noble and fierce. He'll be inspected soon. But I, I won't wait for that. They're hiring agents. I've already applied. You're a good dog. I won't let them take you. I will. That's not a very good dog. A little loud. Animal inspection. Animal inspector! Oh, hello there. My name is Martha. It is wonderful to meet you, dear. Are you just starting out here as well? Yes. <laughs> Drag a fish to my mouth! Oh my god, it's an the interface is a cat. I quit. I'm not making videos anymore. Oh, exciting. Well, I'm very looking, much looking forward to this. It'll be good for me to get out of the house. I just do not get out as much as I should. Do you see the young man over there? Yes, I do. It's right there. I'm boop your nose, sir. I tried talking to him earlier. His name is Alan. He was a little rude. So I'm glad that you are here. Oh, but enough of this. I'm very excited to work with you. Well, to work near you in any case. Hehe. <laughs> oh god, they each have different horrible monstrous cat faces. Makes me very uncomfortable. You are all the new employees? Okay. Well, I'm in charge here. Um, listen up. This job is pretty straightforward. Every day you'll get a stack of forms. Go through each one and stamp them. Approve good or useful animals. Reject bad or useless animals. Don't skip any. We take this job very seriously. Um, oh yeah, one more thing. Please make sure you comment on every animal you process. Explain your reasoning. It's a legal thing. Yeah, I don't know. That's it. Okay. Okay. It's the most terrifying interface. Oh god. It just got worse. That's it? Aren't there- isn't there any training? A rule book or something? Um, no. Use your best judgment. I'll let you know if you screwed up. But try not to. Screw up. Okay. You'll each find a stack of forms on your desk. Starting all of you off easy. But please be thorough. He seems nice. You think so too, right? No. Hmm. Oh dear. Well, it seems your day is about to get in. Let's go and expect some animals. Eh. Do try to be a little more enthusiastic, dear. These animals need you after all. Yeah, they need me to send them to death. Um, we all love this fuzzy dog. Lowly pooch. Nature goof. What is... I don't know what these are. I'm scared. I'm scared to type them. Barely acceptable. I mean, I'm barely acceptable. Drag a stamp. Barely acceptable. Um. How do I. Okay, get it off my. Am I supposed to shove it up? I don't know what to do. Oh! Okay. Kills mice. Tiny cat. It's not a very tiny cat. Utilities kills mice. She doesn't let me touch her. Ah, 
ไหมเราจะพิสูจน์ทุกคนให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้สึกให้เป็นความรู้ From now on, I'll need you to reject at least one animal. Failure to do so will result in a strike. Okay, that's it. Okay, all the dogs are gonna die. I'm sorry. Um, bad. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, dear. My day was grand. This is wonderful and cute animals I had. Of course, I approved them all. So, I guess I cannot do that anymore. Good luck today, dear. Hey, I never really talked earlier. I'm Alan. I don't think I'll be here very long. This is the bottom of the barrel stuff. Sincerely bad. Like really, just the worst. You know what I'm saying, right? Yep. Ah. Oh. That's right, Parker. Yeah, you get me. Anyway, good to meet you. Snack. No known use. Okay, how do I? Can I see which one is which? Okay, I have three. Uh, dog. Dog. <laughs> Snack. This is my this is my approval process. I'm glad you can see sheds civilian imperial. Ah, my, my mic is in front of my camera, but as far as cats go, it's poor. But a cat is still better than a dog, so that's how we're gonna go. Well, uh, it's a new day, so um. A bit of a space concern. Basically, what I mean is there's some concerns about space, specifically the space all these animals are taking up. I guess what I'm trying to say is, please prioritize the rejection of larger animals. All things being equal, anyway. Anything close to human size? That's a <laughs> close to human size. A people-sized animal. Unbelievable. After all, the whole point of this is to well make space, I guess. Okay, yeah, we need to talk. Well, um, do I think I need to explain this? But your comment forms, you should try to spit well. <gasps> I spelled snack completely correctly. I made every, all of my spellings were amazingly perfect. Please clean up your forms a little bit. Should be a little feather duster, standard issue. Okay. I hate this guy. Can I reject him? Don't let it happen. I don't reject that guy. Sorry, I'm a little down today. I heard that Alan has been rejecting all of his animals. I just don't agree with that. But he does not want to listen to me. He called me. Well, he said I'm so out of touch. Can you believe it? No, I cannot believe it. Thank you, dear. You're so much nicer than Alan. Also, I'm not proud of it, but I reject an animal. Not a cat, of course. Same. It was just a fish. Natural enemy of cats. I think those are the natural prey of cats. But yeah, close enough. Dear, I just wanted to say thank you. I heard you had a cat in your last stack. Cats are just wonderful. Not everyone understands them like us. They're very powerful creatures, you know. They shed a lot, but all that hair is a use. You can steep it like a nice tea. Drink that twice a day and your skin will glow. I'm gonna have to eat with that. No need to be rude, dear. See you tomorrow. Shut up, Alan. Yeah, I did. Well, okay. Maybe Alan isn't so bad. Anyway, props. I'm gonna get rid of pretty much all my animals. Seriously, I got no tolerance of these useless things. Now, just to get out of pet frog. I spent so much time taking care of that thing. I'd even read stories before bed. I'd sit there and just read to it out loud, just me and my frog, every night. But one day I realized something. I was wasting my life. Instead of reading to that frog, I could have been, I don't know, doing homework or something. I could have been learning a new skill, improving myself, you know? All the time I spent with it, what was the point? Do you know what I did? I flushed it. I flushed my frog. I don't know if I'd be here otherwise. Here with this job, I mean. I may not love this job, but I'm gonna do it well. I don't care much for Alan. The, the, the dog is big. Big and also a dog, which is bad because dogs are bad. Okay. Uh, <laughs> ants? 
You aren't supposed to let ants out of the classroom. I'm gonna reject the ants. Inspector notes. Ants. That's right, Parker. Ah! It's feather dusted. There we go. Everything's feather dusted. Okay, so good morning. I just got word from the department head. Basically, well, they think you've all been doing great. Really great. So great, in fact, they're bumping up the inspection quota. So, um, well, now you have five animals each to look through. Also, the PNG has to reject two, because there are more animals. Oh, by the way, I appreciate you rejecting the big dog. It was definitely a large animal. Maybe even the largest? <laughs> it's good to know someone is listening, so, um, yeah, good job. Though in the future, well, no, never mind. Oh, dear, that poor dog. Is it really neat? the least useful animal? Yes! Yes! It was! It just was. Not really a dog woman, but, well, I think it made its owners happy. No, it didn't. It enslaved them with its gross dog powers. That's what they do. This job would not be, was not what I thought it would be. I'm trying my best to be familiar to these animals. It's not very easy. The boss is giving us lots of instructions. Instructions I do not always agree with. Oh man, this job. I don't want to say this too loudly, but, well, it's boring, yeah? A real drag. Very repetitive. God, can you imagine doing this for the rest of your life? He has a real appreciation for education. Like, seriously. Poor Martha. It's basically the end of her life. She's ancient. So old. Can I pull the tongue? No, I can't. Like, just look at her. Okay. Yikes. And yet, this is where everything's led for her. Man. Yeah, I feel real happy that's not me. Like I said, I don't want to be here long. You'll probably make it out of here, too. Can I reject Alan? You're good at this, I can tell. Oh, man. So, like, what's with all these stacks? Not a good animal in the bunch, right? I said this job would be tough, only well, like speaking of course, but wow, yeah. So far it really isn't. Well, see you. Kitty! Very good kitty. Fits in small places. Very good. Very good. Approved. Oh, you better not give me all cats. Oh, you bastard, what have you done? Collect dust. Oh, no. I have to reject two? Aw oh, man. Sage is very wise. Nine isn't really elder. Well, I guess it's moderately old. Hmm. It knew that I like cats, didn't it? You! She's still finding her voice. Um... I guess we'll do that. Suddenly, like, this went from cute to being more horrifying than Papers, Please, immediately. I'm sorry, Oscar. Or whatever your name was. Oh wait, I forgot a note. Hold on. Oh wait, I didn't even... Um... I'm just repeating the utilities section, honestly. Um, okay, so I'm sorry to say it, but... Old Mindy has come down with the flu. Who? You know, Mindy. Old Mindy? Everyone knows Mindy. Everybody knows Jerry. In any case, um, well, somebody needs to take her place in the cages so that someone is Alan. Yeah? Okay, well, cool. I'm up for anything. Alan's been chosen because of his exemplary... exemplary, um... exemplary? performance here these past few weeks. Right on. You all have been doing well, so uh, no need to worry about increased quotas. Good work on that, everyone. Okay, I have something to say. Well, well, well. Here we are again! Look, I get it. Spelling isn't easy. I spelled everything fine, you dickhead! Go to hell! Why don't you spell yourself down a fucking railroad spike? I don't know. You know what? Shut up. That's crazy. I'm sure glad I know what I'm doing. 
The problem with any game that tries to spell check your words is that words, you know... That's right, Parker. You know, the, the, there's so many, you know, portmanos and, you know, there's a lot of stuff that, you know, words are valuable. You can't, you know, just computationally check words to see if everything's spelled correctly. I just wanted to tell you that I understand. I understand that you had to reject those cats. Not sure I would have done the same. I still do not agree. But I know this job is important to you, and I'm glad there was not Alan that expected those cats. I just hope that I did not have to make that choice. I, I wish I didn't have to, too. Anything's better than doing paperwork all day. Honestly, I'm pumped about it. Very excited. Thrilled. This has been any good things for me. I can feel it. Shut up, Alan. Aw, oh, no. Not this again. Okay, good. Alan! It's Alan! <laughs> oh my god! Alan! Alan! <laughs> I'm so glad. <sighs> Eats discarded fruit. I'm not sure if I want to say no to the- I have to say yes to the cat. Outer cat. Adventurous. Kills birds. Bird. Kills birds. A net reduction in animals. Alright. I don't care. Useless dog to take space. You know what? Oops. I didn't expect to reject more than I was was necessary. Wait, no, that wasn't more than necessary. Um, turtle. Devo! Are we not men? We are turtle. Devo has been our family since the name meant something. Alright. Fish. I won Martin at the Cups game. He's my favorite animal. Favorite animal. Bird. Damn thing squawks. I haven't slept through the night. Is there some reason that birds are just make the worst noises in the universe? Well, I think I speak for all of us when I say, documentaries are great. Documentaries are important government tools. They show the public that we're just like them. My favorite documentary is, um, well, I forget the title, but it's about a wolf raised by geese. The wolf grows up and eats the geese. <laughs> it's a good allegory for life. It's a message we can all learn from. I agree. In any case, is this supposed to be a wolf? I, I can't even tell. I guess this is a wolf. There's a reason I'm bringing this up, believe it or not. They're making a documentary about this department. So in order to present us all in the best possible light, I'm asking you, well, telling you actually, I'm telling you to approve all of your animals today. Understood, yes, good, great. Um, oh, an announcement before you start your day. Seems that Alan is no longer with us. <laughs> they told me to reject human-sized animals and Alan is by definition a human-sized animal. There's an issue in the cages. Just slight mix up. It's, uh, <laughs> nothing too much to worry about. But well, that's what's going on. <laughs> he was a good employee. A good boy. He'll be missed. <laughs> Rest in pieces, Alan. Oh dear. What could have happened to Alan? I did not like him much. This is very concerning. <laughs> dear, I told you I've heard bad things about this place. I hope the boss does not ask me to go there. I'm a little worn down, dear. This documentary will be very exciting, though, I think. To be honest, I'm very happy about that. It means we don't have to reject any animals. I will tell you though, I'm getting a little worried about my cats. They have not come up for inspection yet. I'm very anxious. I just want them to be okay. Ah! I have to approve this? That one's okay. Food for s <laughs> a dead bird! He's pining for the fjords! He's just pining! <laughs> He's just pining for the fjords. It's fine. Ah. He smells bad, but I refuse to clean any decent animal.
You made me improve this. Oh god, I hate this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna get dog owner comments, aren't I? Very good cat. Wait, I can't use interesting words. I can't- I don't want to say chompers and have it be like, THAT'S NOT A WORD! I don't care. Everything here is a feeder. Oh, wait, I can't say IDK. Ugh. The, the spelling thing is so unnecessary and dumb. Here we go. Well, day is come and gone. That's Doc Day, by the way. Or D-Day. Documentary Day. I thought it was just stuttering. d desu It's not like I want you to reject animals, Baka. Because they were filming a documentary, and documentary starts with a D. Okay, well anyway. I have good news and bad news. The good news is that the filming went well. They got all the shots they needed. They're done with this office. The bad news is that we're now extremely behind on rejection quotas, so um... They're gonna need you all to reject everything today. Aww. No exceptions. Oh goodness. Thanks for things are getting better around here. Yesterday was so nice. But today will be awful. I'm not sure if I can do it. Maybe all of our animals will be bad today. That is possible, right dear? Yes. Sure. Yes, that might be what happens. Only bad animals today. Bad! Oh look at this disgusting thing! I wanna punch it. Awful. Awful. Clean that up. Alright. Oh yes, they're all dogs, aren't they? They better be. Stupid. Stupid. Even. Tidy that up. Oh. Is that my own cat or something? What happened? Is that my cat? Oh no, it's Martha's cat! Oh no! What? <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to get a game over. I don't know if that's a... that's a fish alright. Nature, rude. <laughs> Cheerful displaces water. Local boys get a real kick out of him. I'm sorry, Martha. I wonder if there's like multiple endings. My mother had a saying, hang in there. I don't think she made it up, but she sure shed it a lot. Um, I guess what I'm trying to say is, I know things are rough. Remember to hang in there. Um, that being said, Mindy is sick again. Good old Mindy. She's really been sick a lot recently. It's suspicious. Well, Alan took over last time, and um, well, he's not with us anymore. So it's your turn. You have to take over from Mindy, okay? Just head down to the cages. I'll follow you down to, with your instructions. Dear, I know you're only doing your job, but I just cannot look at you right now. You could have saved her. I would have got fired or something. It's a lot to ask of you, but I still had hope. Aww. Welcome to the cages. Probably wondering where all the actual cages are. Rest assured, there are definitely some cages in here. Put them behind a few more doors. I don't like where this is going. I don't even know your name. You'll see them soon. But first, I'm sure you have a few questions. Now you want to ask what this place is? Yes. Yes, I thought so. Well, I'll tell you. You've been part of a little experiment. Well, I guess it's more of a big experiment. But anyways, I have a few questions for you. Then I'll explain everything. Please try to answer as honestly as possible. Um, first question. Have you noticed anything odd during your time here? Very yes. Interesting. Next question. Is school of this organization clear to you? Yes. Okay. Let me just mark that down. Third question. Would you describe everyone here as normal? No. Uh, would you describe Martha as abnormal? No. Hmm. How about me? Weird. Rude. <laughs> I did ask, though. Hmm. Well, I think we're just about done around here. Thanks very much for your time. So, I guess you noticed there's something funny going on. Well, I'll explain a few things. 
So, first of all, Alan, rest in peace. Alan wasn't a real person. What I mean by that is that Alan wasn't always the way he was. The Alan you were interacting with was actually an animal. A dog? Rest in peace, Alan, though. No. Yeah, well, I think it's neat. Anyways, look. We've been researching how to train animals to do menial labor, like your job, stamping forms. We can train animals to do it, of course. To do them, we have to set them up with nicer brains. <laughs> we seed those brains with human memories, so they can actually function. In Alan's case, we gave him Alan's memories. In Alan, the dog's case, we gave the dog Alan's memory to the human Anna, Alan. Not that the dog Alan's name was originally Alan, too. I mean, that would have been a weird coincidence. <laughs> That's such a reasonable thing to do. De definitely don't, you know, have a computer or a robot do it. Train, you know, brilliant animals. When you have someone's memories, you kind of freak out when you don't actually look like them. So let me make that happen. Look, I won't get into the specifics. But, like, technology is pretty advanced these days. So you can basically make an animal pass as human. But we don't know how to pay them. So all these pets we've been rejecting. They're an untapped workforce. And we're tapping them. Of course. We did notice that something was off. So we still have some work to do. But yeah, makes sense. At least Martha's cat's alive, in a way. I just wanted to say, you've been a good employee. So there's like fish people out there. That's fine. You haven't caused too much trouble. This bone ain't rocking. Um, well anyways, I figured you have a dog. I think I can pull a few strings. Oh no! Ah, oh, I should have saved Martha's thing and let my dog die. I don't think you need to worry. Dot dot dot. Really? Not even a thank you. It's really sticking my neck out there for you. Well, you know what? Maybe I'd change my mind. The dog's toast. Sure, that's fine. I mean, not actual toast. Weird expression. Consider it rejected, though. I've got no patience for you, if that matters. Whatever, bro. I don't want that dog anyway. I completely forgot about my dog. Anyway, he's dead now. <laughs> sorry. Not sorry. I wonder if something different happens when you- wait, game over? Is this one of those games that just always ends in game over, or is that like an actual bad end? What is save? Oh. What is this? Snack! Snack was the best. I'm gonna see if I can save Martha's cat. I don't care about Alan, though. Alan's. This game auto saves. I guess it's it auto saves so you can't save scum. Wait, let's. I wonder if I can just can I just spam through here. And if we get to the dog choice, I'll approve the I'll get the dog approved this time. I forgot I even had a dog. Oh my gosh! Come on. Can I? No. What if I make it my only mistake? What if saving Martha's thing is the only mistake I make? I wonder. Can I? Alright. Don't care. Ugh, come on, I, I really don't want to have to click a billion times. Eighteen thousand times. Maybe I'll do it later. Maybe I won't. I don't know. 